Hey guys, Kid Gear here, and another Tech World tutorial for you guys. Uh, continuing on with the Photoshop. Last week we showed you how to do uh, reflections in Photoshop. Today I'm just going to show you how to do custom cutouts with a pen tool. There's many ways to do it, but uh, there's la magic lasso. I mean, I always say magic lasso, magnetic lasso, magic wand. You know, a whole bunch of ways. My favorite is the pen tool. So I'm just going to select my image that I took of myself earlier with a friend here in qu oh, with Quick Cam with the chalk effect on the webcam. Um, so I just select your pen tool. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, this could be used for forum banners or, you know, any images that you want a specific image or a specific part of the image cut out to put it into your, uh, you know, transparent background or whatever to make a render. So click your pen tool. Uh, make sure it's on paths and then uh, paths again, <laughs> and then make sure double check that you have add to path area. That's very important. So make sure that's checked. That's checked and that's checked. Unless you want your own custom, but this is way easier. So, okay, so I want to cut myself out f uh, from the background. So I'm gonna make a rough outline. You don't really need it being perfect. Just get a rough outline of the object that you're cutting. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect, and I'll mess up intent uh, purposely just to. So, example, I'm gonna cut my shoulder halfway down right there, and then I will put close it. But uh, actually, not close it before I close it. Before you close it. You want to do some, uh, I guess you can say, uh, tweaking, uh, just finishing up the edges that you messed up on. Just add another anchor point where you messed up in between the two. So make sure you space them out. Hold control and just pull up. And you can do this to any anchor point. You can just pull up. Now, again, I messed up here, so I'm going to put a middle point. Hold the middle anchor, the main anchor. Pull up, pull up. There's many anchors, so you're going to want to have to you know edit it nice and neat so this you know depends on how long you want your uh... how big your you know image you're cutting out is and how perfect you actually want it to be so for this purpose of the tutorial i'm not gonna go perfect but you know that's a pretty straightforward now what i want to do is close it oh my bad i was on this right here i wanna, wanna make sure I'm, i've selected this anchor point Okay, so yes, close it. Okay, whatever. Just make sure you close it on the you're on the last anchor point because if you get what I mean, uh, basically you're gonna have to close it from said anchor point to the ending anchor point. And I s oh I know why. It's because y your last anchor point is where it's gonna meet up with. So your last anchor point is where it's gonna continue on from. And you want that obviously going across to here. Now, make sure you obviously put it on a new layer. I didn't j just cuz you know, just I'm just trying to teach you how to use a pen tool, but make sure you want it on a new layer. You cut out not your background uh you know, your background. So, for example, I will quickly uh just have a new layer here and then I'm going to right click hit hit make selection and then feather radius just means how it's going to smooth out the cut and you know, make it look it just makes it look smoother. So I just want 1.5 pixels for this purpose. I made the selection. Now, if I go to the select tool, I should just be able to. Okay, hang on one second. Go to my background. Because, see, that's why you want to make a new layer before you do your cutout. Or actually, maybe you can do it on the background if you just want to do it there. And again, it's not perfect. Like I said, it cut out on my hair, as you can see. But for the main purpose, it got me out of the background. And um, let's say you want to. What do you call that? Want the background out? Go to. Image or is it? Or is it? Oh, it's one of these. Let me forget. Select. Okay, select inverse, and hit delete. That's just basically your background. Background's gone, and you have yourself to move. But again, it's locked. But because you want to select, deselect, and select your right there. And uh, let's see here. I'm just going to delete that layer because I don't need it really. Delete layer. Yes. Okay. Again, mine's locked right now, but it should be able to if you have another image. And again, this isn't a transparent background. As you see, my background just happens to be white because I deleted it. It's easier if you just drag the cutout into the other image rather than dragging just this. If Unless you want to. I mean, what I mean by that is if you have your background, just drag it out from just drag the cutout out from the background rather than deleting the background and then dragging it out because 
what happens is this uh, I'll show you so let's say get another image in what happens if you have another image and you want to drag it in it's gonna drag that white background over so it's easier just to drag the cutout because then you get no background with it so yeah or you know there's a whole bunch of other ways just make sure you put on different layers so you don't get that confusion anyhow guys that's how you use a pen tool it's pretty simple again uh, select this make sure your settings are right control is to tweak with the anchor points and you're good to go so thanks guys for listening and check you all uh, catch you guys all later at www and don't forget to check out the site at www.adrianstech.com see you guys later